Yo, what's up guys, it's Soup here. So today I have a quick money making guide for you. Now this isn't really an all out guide on how to kill a monster for money or stuff. This is just a quick way to sort of use the game to make a quick profit. So basically I'm starting off with 1 mil coins. We're going to be buying runes from different uh, NPCs around RuneScape. So you're going to buy the fire runes from this person and the death runes, the major Zamrak. Now you have to do the abyss mini quest to uh, buy from him. So if you haven't done that, it's really easy to do. So just do that and just buy the fire and death runes from him. And so now we're going to head over to the mage bank. And what we can do is just go into the lever down in Edgeville and run up, cut the nets or the web, I don't even know why there's a web there, but just keep running uh, all the way, what is that, west from that from that web, and you shouldn't end up at these little box things on the map, it's just uh, where the major bank is, and you're going to pull that lever, once you cut the, the webs, make sure you bring uh, something to cut the webs with, then trade Lundale, and Lundale's going to have uh, some death runes, so just buy all the death runes, and buy all the fire runes, so just keep buying all the runes from them, and yeah, so I went to my bank here just to see if I had a Varric teleport, but I didn't, so uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to teleport, I'm going to use the cabbage port, you can use a glory, you can just teleport down, and you're going to run to uh, Betty's shop down in Port Sarim, and it's just, uh, uh, what is it, like northwest of the docks, it's right here in this checkered room, you're going to see just the, the fire rune symbol, so just buy her fire and death runes, there's only 10, uh, 10 death runes, but there's a good bit of fire runes, so just buy those, and yeah, um, <clears throat> then you're gonna make your way down to the bottom part of the docks and travel to the Squire to uh, Pest Control Island and the Void Outpost basically. So you're gonna trade with the Squire here. You're gonna buy all the Death Runes and all the Fire Runes again. And so you should have a full inventory of each one. Or not full inventory, but like you should have all the Death Runes and de uh, Fire Runes from these guys. And yeah, so right now just use your teleports to the seal of, I mean, I use the seal of passages to get here, and, or you can just do a home teleports, and you're going to buy from, I think her name's like Baby Yaga or something like that, I forget, Baba Yaga, and buy all the death and fire runes again, basically, I think that's, I think you guys know what the guide's about, buying fire and death runes, so, um, and last place, go over to Yanil, Yanil, you can use a watchtower teleport, or you can just do like a teleport tab there and trade with the magic store owner and I found out here that I had a bank pin so just quickly pause and did it and these provide the most uh, they have a thousand deaths and a thousand fires so yeah important place it requires 66 magic to get in here so if you don't have that I'm sorry you will not be making as much profit but you will make a small amount um, yeah so after that make your way over to the grand exchange just to see how much you've made so remember we start off with one mil coins and just, you can sell the GE for 1% uh, under, or check that, yeah, like 5%. And uh, yeah, so they sell for that much, so you make that. And then sell your death runes. And yeah, so let's check the money making tab. And we are at, where is it, examine? 1,130,988 coins. So we made 131k profits in around 5 minutes. Now this can be part of your daily runs. It's really easy to do. It used to be higher because the death and fire runes were a lot higher at one point, but the market went down a little bit. So I used to make around 250k doing this. But yeah, I still make a small profit doing this. And guys, try it out. Peace out.